there was this study that had proven this Bhakti Paris rat study of 2012 that it extended the lifespan of rats, mammals, 90% with no tumors. So I think the greatest thing that I've heard you say since I met you is that you have already begun investing in a new test in 2020 to redo that Paris Bhakti study, but not minimize the possibility that the rats might live 200, 300% more <clears throat> taking C60 EVO, the ESS60 formulation. Can you talk about your new test that you're bringing to the world? This is huge. Yeah, well, yeah, we're really excited about it. And in, in, in reality, it's it's the next step in the scientific pro, uh, process. So typically, the step you know the steps are: Hey, we've got a theory. In the original case, the theory was that it was toxic. Uh, then we got a result. It turns out it wasn't toxic. The rats actually lived ninety percent longer, and none of them had tumors, despite all of the rats in the control group having tumors, which is typical of a Worcester rat. Um, and then the next step is actually to reproduce it. Uh, so that result needs to be reproduced in another lab. So we've already contracted uh, with the lab organization. We're doing the first steps uh, to kind of go through their hoops in order to be able to get the actual study started. And so we've got the initial invoice. We've paid that initial invoice. We're excited about what this is. Obviously, re the results aren't going to come out for quite some time. It's a five-year study if it only goes as the original study. So we're gonna do uh, things a little bit different. <clears throat> uh, some, some things that happened in the original study is a typical Worcester rat lives 32 months. They didn't dose any of the rats, whether it was with water, with olive oil, or with olive oil with ESS-60, which is the C60 Evo formulation, until month 10. Um, so they were about one third of the way through their life. And then they actually stopped dosing all of the rats at month 17. So it was only seven months of their typically 32 month lifespan. And ultimately the 62 month lifespan of the, the final rats that survived that were on ESS 60 and olive oil. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to make an adjustment where, you know, what would have happened had they not stopped dosing the rats at month 17, right? Like this is kind of an obvious extension of the study. There's a couple of things that go into this. So one of them is the reason they stopped at month 17 is because that was actually when the very first control group rat died, right? So the rats that were given water, one of them died at month 17. And uh, it's known in that particular study, they had to gavage the rats, which is actually stick a tube down their throat in order to make sure that the dosing got into their stomach, right? Um, what we know now is rats and pets, it turns out, actually like ESS-60 in olive oil. They like the C60 Evo formula. We even have, you know, a d dog version and a cat version. Uh, so we know that we can actually control the dosing through uh, by adding the ESS-60 formula into the actual food. Uh, so that puts us in a position where we don't have to worry about these gavages being detrimental. In fact, at month 17, when that first control group rat died, they stopped giving them doses because they were, were worried that gavaging them uh, might cause problems and, and detrimentally impact the results of the study. Uh, so in our case, we'll be uh, feeding them much longer. In fact, we're going to feed them uh, the, the C60 Evo formula until they pass. Uh, and who knows? You're right. Maybe it's a 200%. Maybe it's a 300% extension in life. Um, we don't know the exact mechanism whereby the, the, the C60 EVO formulation is actually helping the rats. We do know it's a known antioxidant and a known anti-inflammatory, which really checks the two major boxes that medical science currently says are the issues that are causing aging, uh, but we don't know the exact mechanism. So it's hard to predict what further extension we'll have. Um, our expectation is that we hit at least 90% and, and beyond. That's going to be amazing. And to not stop the test, I think is one of the most important things. To also not be gavaging is a lot more gentler on the animals. Yes. So, plus I know you're going to take a lot of interest in it because this is the longest life uh, span longevity test ever in history. Yeah. So, so according to my best knowledge, and I've been searching for two years, I've been going on podcasts and asking people, hey, is there anybody in the audience who might know of a peer-reviewed, published, of course, research study 
on mammals that has a longer extension of life result than 90%? Uh, and the current answer is no. The, the next best way that's well researched to extend your life or extend the life of mammals in this case um, is, to, is calorie restriction. Uh, and if you reduce calories, the standard calorie that an, a particular animal will take by 30%, you can actually get a 30% increase in life. I don't know about you, but I'm not really interested in signing up for the 30% reduction in my calorie, daily calorie intake for the rest of my life, you know, study. That's not, that's not me. <laughs> nope.